everyone welcome back to cage freed got my review for you that i'm super excited about it is the route works bag i kept it or i put it back in the box because it was kind of fancy packaging way to go route works i like it <laughs> and it doesn't look like this when it comes to you but sort of it's got a box with your extra components and then your bag and mine's kind of assembled already because you know I had to test it out. I found this before I did the damn race and I was really really wishing I had had it during the dam but I did not. It took longer to ship. That's okay. I'm going to be reviewing the Route Works handlebar bag which I decided to order because it looked like it was a bag that was designed by people who do endurance racing and bike packing and they've done it many times and they get it and uh, had features that I don't know why any other bag you near know, no other bags have ever thought of and so I was super excited to get it and try it out. The reason that this bag is so cool is the first and foremost, uh, one of the most important things I think about this bag is that they thought of a lot of things. Uh, and one of the most important is, so it's a quick on and off bag. It has a metal clip, so it's not a cheap clip. And it, uh, you have a mount on your handlebar, and I will show you that. And all you do is clip it on and off. So it's very quick, which is really nice. Uh, this is how it faces on. So this would be facing you on your handlebar. And most important, I think, is voila, it opens towards you. So um, I never understood why so many handlebar bags open this way because that means you have to stop and reach in your bag or it takes more coordination <laughs> so this was so cool because you could be riding and open it i would just leave it like this while i was riding and it stayed put uh which was really awesome uh that was probably one of my favorite features of this um on the inside i got some food stuff in here Still, but um you know my goods so I'll give you a peek at the inside here so it comes with this pouch on top which I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one still I mean it's good for money stuff like that but I might end up taking it out and I'm, I'm not sure that I like it um, it's got a lot of snap pockets so there's a snap pocket on back there's two on the front here and then you have your main compartment. There's also two uh, pockets, one on each side, and they are strung together by the, kept down by the bungee on the bottom. So you can put things on the side there. It came with an extra bungee in case it gets stretched out. Uh, you know, you could obviously attach some things down here if you want. There's also other bungees up top which can be tightened from the inside as well um it's not as big as i was thinking it would be so that's one downside of it i thought it would be a little bit bigger but i have some ideas <laughs> and but it works really well for other things. This, along with my feed bag, I think work really well for me. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite features of this is, so you can see there's a little hole on the side to um, screw things in if you need, but uh, they have a handlebar um, mount on the side here. So you just screw this in and you can attach any light mount to it. 
um, which is awesome because I love to keep things off my handlebars. Uh, that's something I've had problems with in the past. Some of my bags that attach around it are kind of get in the way and they don't have light mounts. So this is awesome. It keeps everything off my um, handlebars. The other cool feature is on top here, you can see it has another mount. Um, I have that off right now. But to this piece, you can have a quick release mount for a phone. There's a quick release mount for bike computers, so Wahoos and for um, Garmin's. Um, they have all sorts of things that you can attach here. It's awesome. It also keeps it right in front of you, your phone all the time, your you know, bike computer all the time, and again, still off of your handlebars. So that is a feature that I really love about it is that it just gets all those accessories right off your handlebars. Um, it is of course waterproof like most are. This is a metal hard top, uh, just a fabric bottom. And I'm gonna show the mount I bought another mount recently to use for my other bike. So I'm gonna show that mount uh, and how it's mounts. It's really quick and easy setup. Uh, one other feature I forgot to mention here is it's also got a little string on the inside. And like I said, it quick releases from your bike really quickly. So if you wanted to, you know, wear it as a little bag, you can, uh, which is kind of cool. You can also um, unscrew these and take them off. They're just screwed on the inside. So I believe you can release them. I haven't tried yet, but uh, so I think if you didn't want that in there, you could take it off as well. I'm gonna show you how to do the mount now and show you the quick on and off. I am a dummy and <laughs> one day I was riding and completely left it. Uh, it was on the mount, but it I didn't hook it in and it stayed on my whole ride mostly and I was going over rough terrain and I was doing sprints. So I was going pretty fast and it just came loose when I hit one bump too hard. And so it flew off my bike. Um, so I have some scrapes on it, but otherwise it uh, stayed pretty well intact. Uh, so it's durable. <laughs> and I'll show you the mount. All right, so here is the handlebar mount that I just got. You can see it's very simple. There's four screws on top. Um, the instructions, you can see it's really basic. It just mounts right on the middle of your handlebar and easy peasy. And I'm going to show you my bike now and show you how it goes on and off. All right. So here we go. Here's the mount on my bike. Don't mind that I have my computer mounted that way. <laughs> right now, I actually was waiting for a special the uh, adapter piece for this to come in so that's why I ended up mounting it on there but anyways so to put it back on you just slide it in you can see it sets in and then there's a lever down here and this locks it so when I was on my ride that's what happened I didn't attach this lever so you can see it kind of opens and closes so that's how it uh stays on your bike don't forget to do that like i did <laughs> so you can see it on the bike here so here you would mount a light here you go i put one on for you here so you can see the light uh, mount i kind of was worried that it would slide off the end but thus far i have not had any problems with that um, like I said, I took off the mount because I was waiting for an adapter. So, uh, this, uh, ideally my Garmin could just be right on here and again, flips right open. So when you're riding, you can open it, grab what you need and close it, uh, which is awesome. 
what am I bumping? Ah, my light. There we go. So, pretty cool. It's really an idea that no one else has thought of that I've seen. I don't know why they all open this way because it doesn't make sense. But Routeworks thought that through. I appreciate that. And if you wanted an extra one of these, you could get this. I think they have some other types of tools and stuff you can attach to. All right, so the positives of this pack for me that I think are the best is, again, opening towards you is amazing. I love that there's a light mount. Oh, that's what happened. It slid off there. Ah, uh, slid into the crack. So I love that there's a light mount that keeps it off of your handlebars. The, you can put your phone, you can put your um, bike computer on here. Also gets it off the handlebars. I did try a little bar. I put like a little snack bar in these bungee cords because I was worried that they would just slide out, but it held. Like I said, again, you can um, tighten them in here too. I love the ease of use. I love the quick on and off. I can, that's why I bought the extra mount. I can switch it back and forth between bikes super easily, uh, which is an awesome feature. Um, so these are all the positives of this. I that I enjoy. Um, the things that I think could improve or that I have ideas for. So uh, first and foremost, it's a little smaller than I anticipated. Um, and I'll tie that into my next improvement I think they can make, but I wished it was a little bit bigger because I, I often bring, you know, an extra jacket with me or something like that. And a jacket kind of takes up all the space of this. Uh, so in that aspect, it's a little small. Um, another thing, so I have a friend that I went on a gravel race with and I didn't know that he had one of these as well. So we were talking about it and we both agreed that one thing that is a little bit, um, annoying is that this tends to jiggle when you're biking and it makes some noise. Now, when I've noticed it the most is actually on concrete. Uh, when I hit like cracks in the pavement, it's like crunk, crunk, crunk. And I'm gonna put in a video here to, to sh dem that demonstrates that. So you can, um, there is this bolt in here and you can tighten it from the bottom. So I tightened mine up a little and it definitely improved the jiggling a little bit, but I'm not quite sure route works if there's a way to address that problem. I was kind of contemplating on my own, um, like, could I put a little foam strip on the bottom um, to prevent that jiggling. Um, I don't know, I kind of want to experiment with it and put a little foam piece, see if that helps the noise. I haven't done that as of yet, but, or you know, like the 3M strips um, to stick stuff on the wall, something like that maybe would dampen that noise. Um, Cause that, depending on the surface that you're on it wasn't so bad on gravel but again once I hit that pavement and hit those cracks it was really noisy um and my final thing that I would love to see improved on this is so again, like I said, they have this on the bottom. So you could ideally put, you could maybe put your jacket on the bottom of here, but I'd be a little nervous to put my jacket down here. I did hold uh, my bike pump once, which 
held on, but it made me nervous. Just, I wasn't so sure about it. So, Routeworks, I propose to you, if I will be your demo, if you want, I would love to be your demo. Um, but the one thing I think that they could add, which I was surprised I didn't think of because you guys literally thought of everything, um, is this piece in front, it's unusable space. So I kind of wondered if a addition you could make is to put some straps up here. Um, and then if I want to bring my rain jacket with me, um, as you guys all know on the interwebs, I have that long pump and the long pump will not fit in here. Um, so they could maybe be a buckle adjustable. Um, they just sit here and you could put your pump and your jacket, roll it up and put it in here. And that would make great use of this space um, for people's clothes, for bigger things. So Routeworks, if you want me to send this in and do mine up, I would be happy to be that person. <laughs> Um, my other thoughts are if Routeworks won't do it, I'm going to talk to a local bag um, maker here and see if that bag maker is able to doctor it up because I think that would be a key addition. That would probably make this bag perfect. Uh, like I said, I could hook my pump in it. I could hook a rain jacket in it. I would still have all the interior space for my tools, my food. I have my feed bag with me always as well too. So I've got a little extra space. This keeps everything off my handlebars. Um, and the only other thing is I've thought about, like I said, putting some foam in here. I want to see if that would help with the jiggle. Um, and I might experiment with that on my own. So if you're looking for an extra Christmas gift and your loved ones are asking you what you want, I do recommend this. Again, I would like to see this couple of improvements, but overall, this is an ideal bag. I was so excited about it when I ordered it, and I'm really glad I invested in it. I probably will end up replacing all my other <laughs> bags with just having this. Um, but check it out. Uh, see if it would work for you. I... Uh, do enjoy it very much. I spend my own money on it. So if you like this review, give me a like below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, Cage Freed. And I look forward to posting another video here this next week. I believe I'll have some other things for you uh, that I'll be reviewing. And thanks for watching. And uh, here are my little co-star. Come here, Hammy. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>